Hi, mister. What's up, mister? Hello. How are you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. How I'm... was um? How was your... How were your holidays? Mm, a very uh, familiar. Yes. Yes. In in the in the San Felipe in Conchi towns. That's good. Did you? How many days did you have? Um. Thirteen. Oh, 13, oh. Yes, 13 days. That's pretty good. Yeah. Is that normal or it's a special year? It's for shift. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Before uh, Rene hear me. Oh, yeah. It's because you are in, Alfredo, in that. In, it's be uh -huh. in Alfredo, too. Alfredo didn't have vacations like that? Yes, but the, uh, Alfredo uh uh he did he did uh work in I don't know I'm not sure if on um, Christmas or New Year maybe uh -huh. Christmas. Mhm. Mm maybe Christmas, yes. Oh, okay. Only one, not only, both. Only one day, yes. And you got both? Yes. Both and, and, it, both in a row. And, yes, both in the and and in the um con si se reyes magos. Oh <laughs> <laughs> so it will be both and Reyes Magos. Um, I don't know, Magic Kings, I guess. I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sure to be honest. So that's good. So ready for ready where, for a new it? year? Yes, yes, yes. Ready. For what? For English. Yeah, I know. You were going to ask something. What? You you had a question before I interrupted. Ah, okay, yes. It, it's a uh, mm, for for the weather in Hermosillo now. Oh, it's fucking is cold. It, it's around 10 grade degrees now. Um, let me check. But it's very cold. Five minutes ago, uh I I checked in the, the temperature in the car. Uh -huh. in, in it's, the, it's it's twelve right now. Twelve? Oh, <laughs> Here is one degree. Oh my God. That's cold. Yes. <laughs> Do you have like um the same man to Ale, no? Yeah, Ale is Ale Ale maybe is uh, minus fifteen or something. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Rene. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Happy New Year, Rene. Happy New Year, team. Um, fine, thank you. I'm great. Good. Nice I to am see sending you. the the Gmail for work. Yeah. Good. But it's okay. Yeah, it's um. I was gonna ask you, Javier. Do you have um heater in your office? Yes, in the in the air, air condition, I have a yeah, both oh, okay. uh, temperature, okay. calefactor and cooler. Okay. Hi, Mr. Albert. <laughs> but now it's turned off. It is? Yes. You should turn it on. It's cold. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Albert? Hello for everyone. Finally, you're back. Yes, I, I'm back. Yeah. 
Hi, Albert. We Hello. miss you. <laughs> you, re you remember Albert, right? <laughs> yeah. What's up, Albert? What's new? What's new? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's so cold in Guaymas right now. It is too? Yes. Are uh, you in Guaymas? Yes, I live in Guaymas right now. Yeah. And uh, next the next week, uh, I, we stay in the Zacatecas again. Five days. Sure. Five can. days? It's very cold in Zacatecas too, right? Yes, right now. Yes, it's, it's cold. It's very, very cold. Well, welcome back to the class. Thanks. What, what, what happened? Why are you coming back? You uh, missed us. This is this. Uh, you can remember my my what is my my target is finished. Uh, finish. I know, I know, I know. That's good. And then we have Mr. Luis, very cold too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How are you, Luis? Freezing. Hello. Yeah, I'm coldy. <laughs> I know, right? It's actually the inside of the house is. Cooler it's, than outside. Outside is better, I think. Outside is yeah. better. <laughs> In my house, better. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's pretty happy. Cool. Happy New Year for everyone. Happy, happy New, New Year, Year, Mr. Luis. Happy, happy New, New Year, too. New Year. We're yeah. up. Here is not better uh, outside. Mm -hmm. This night is the uh, start the uh, snow again in Cananea and Cosari, no? Here is it's... one degree now. Mm. But he doesn't know where you are. One degrees. Yes. I checked in the in the car uh, five say, ten minutes ago. Oh. Um, I don't have a pencil here. <laughs> I found the. I will find the pencil. Pencil. <laughs> Hi, Claudia. Hello. Hello, Mister. Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. How was your Happy New Year? How are you? I'm very fine. Good. I'm are you, yes. Are you cold too? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm I'm killing a fly. Give me a minute. Because I don't know what happened. So ready for the difficult part? For what? Ready for Wait, ready for the, yes, for the good stuff. The good stuff. How <laughs> <laughs> can fly? It's flying around. Yes. Oh, here it is. Mister. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Uh I need uh pre start my no pre start my, my computer now. But it's okay. a message of uh, IT administrator. Ah, okay. All right. We'll we'll wait for you. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. I killed the fly. What's up, Luis? Ready? Yes, sir. Ready. You did you print the book? No, I I have my book uh, digital. Ah, okay. But uh, tomorrow I I will print. Very nice. Very nice because you will need it. Okay, yes. guys. Um, that's for the people of the bird. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Um this in this occasion we are not going to start the book from page number one. We're going to start the process um ahead. 
I don't know exactly what number it is. Auxiliaries having has. Maybe it's page nine, I guess. Or oh. 11, 12? Uh, 30. Okay, 13? Yes, 13. 12, 13. 12, no? 12? I don't know. Um, but it's this one, right? Auxiliaries haven't has. Haven't Correct? Haven't has. Yeah. All right. So, before we start actually with the topic, we need to um, talk a little bit about where we are, right? Where we are. I think that we have um, talked about this too much, you know? If you remember this, of course you do. We have four, we have four, and then we have four, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So far, we have this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. We have six already, okay? Which is like the middle of the course, correct? So um, this is, uh, I don't like to call this the basic, the basic tenses. I don't like to call it the basic tenses because they are not simple, you know? <laughs> I mean, they are complicated. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we are talking about simple present, present progressive, will, you know, be going to, simple past. Simple past is difficult, you know? Yeah. It's not so basic. That's what I'm trying to say. But the other part of the of the tenses are the perfect tenses. Okay, so which are going to be the other ones, all right? Obviously. I mean, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay, so this is like, uh, hi, Mr. Carlos. How are hi, you? Hi, How are you? Very good. How are you? Very good. Happy New Year. Todos. Happy New Happy Year. Day. Thank you, Mr. Um... And Merry Christmas too. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and Santo <laughs> Reyes. Uh, of course, that's <laughs> right. So I was telling you, right? Uh, the basic tenses, which in my opinion are not so basic, but anyways, that's how we call them, you know? And then we go with the perfect tenses, right? And in English, the perfect tenses are like the complicated tenses, you know? the difficult tenses, but I think the contrary. I think that they are easy, <laughs> you know? So the basic tenses for me are not so basic, but the perfect tenses are not so difficult. Okie dokie. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. So in order to do that, right, we are going to, We're going to talk about the present perfect, okay? Which is this division, right? This division between, between what? Uh, present perfect. Uh-huh. The present perfect is the division between what and what? You know, which Simple is this one? present and present progressive. No, this one, the present perfect mm -hmm. is the division between the basic tenses and the perfect tenses. You know, it's like this bridge. You know what a bridge is? Yeah, it's like this bridge, right? To go to the next side. I don't know if you remember Coco. Remember Coco the movie? like going on the bridge to the other side. That's exactly how it is, okay? So you, they're gonna take a picture of you like, hey, do you know the basic tenses? And that will be the picture. If you don't know the basic tenses, impossible to cross to the other part of the bridge. 
Okay, so like a metaphor, you know? All right, perfect tenses. We're talking about the present perfect. And one of the things that we need to understand here is going to be the formula. The formula is going to give you, is going to give you info, information. And this information is going to help you to distinguish if you are in the perfect tenses, you know what I mean? Or if you are in the basic tenses, the formula is going to tell you if you are in the complicated tenses or you are in the simple tenses, yeah? So the um, most important element in here, right? is going to be the auxiliary, okay? The auxiliary is going to give you all this information that I'm trying to tell you, right? What information? Okay, I'm using a perfect tense, right? All right, so the auxiliary in this case is going to be have and had. Okay, these two elements right now, right here, these two, okay? They have to be your Bible. Starting right now for the next six months, right? We need to be friends with Havik has. So we can, you know, so we can advance on the other uh, tenses that we are going to be practicing, right? Have and has, have and has. So let's go with some information. Mr. Luis, can you help me, please? Yes. Uh, grammar notes, number one. Have and has are auxiliary verbs in English that are used to form different tenses, including the present perfect and the simple present. Mm -hmm. Auxiliary, I have worked a lot this week. She has cooked all, all day. Verb, I have a red car. She has many friends. Thank you, Luis. All right. So let's analyze the first one. All right. So if you think about, if you think about have or has in this case, you're going to have two options, right? To think, I mean, this is a process that you need to do in your brain and very fast, you know? What process? I'm going to use have and I'm going to use has for as a verb or I'm going to use have and has as an auxiliary. So when you see and when you identify a have and a has, you know, this is the first question that you need to answer. Yeah? Because have is a complicated verb also. You know, if you think about have, it's a complicated verb because it has two functions, you know? It has the function of working as a verb and it has a function of working as an auxiliary. Okay? Now, think about this. <clears throat> If you use it as a verb, in this case, have and has represent what? I have a car. What, what is that representing? To get something. <clears throat> to, to get something, right? What is it, Al Alfredo? Possession. Possession, exactly. To get something, to possess something in this case, right? Possess possession. Right now, if you use it as an auxiliary in this case, if you use it as an auxiliary, it represents nothing. All right, <laughs> <laughs> so in this case, um, what we're going to think about is what is next to the auxiliary. <clears throat> Excuse me. What is next to the auxiliary? Okay. The verb. The verb, exactly. 
All right? So pretty much what we are doing, we're gonna do a fusion. You know what a fusion is? A fusion, yeah? To fusionate something in this case, we're going to fusion the auxiliary with the verb. In this case. Mm -hmm. Vamos bien? Vamos bien? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Rene? All good? All right. Okay. Look at this example. I'm going to do an example right here. Very simple. I have three kids. Simple, right? So in this example, what is the first question that you need to do to yourself? Mm -hmm. If you see this, I have three kids. What is the first question I need to come up with and answer myself? How many How kids many? do you have? No, no, no. No, years. How many years, right? Not necessarily. No, no, no. Vámonos para atrás. Cuando ven un have, ¿qué les dije ahorita? Possession. O cuando, cuando ven un has o un have en la oración, ¿cuál es la primera pregunta que se tienen que hacer? If it's auxiliary or, or auxiliary. There you go. Yes. And then you see this, right? And then you think about, okay, this have over here, is it a verb or is it an auxiliary? It's a verb. Verb. A, verb. a verb. It's a verb. Okay, so it's a verb. It represents possession, right? Mm -hmm. Now, let's go back over here and I'm going to do an example. <laughs> um, I, sorry, they have gone to the game. They have gone to the game, that's it, right? And then you do, what's the question that you need to do? You're going to see a have in here. What is the first question that you need to do? It's a verb it's a or verb. an auxiliary. Is it a verb or is it an auxiliary? And then in this case, you're going to have a real verb. Mm -hmm. Make sense? So if you have a real verb, this one is going to be impossible to do the function of what? Possession. Uh, possession. Of possession, which is a verb, right? Mm -hmm. It can it can be a verb. Uh -huh. Because you have a you have you have a real verb. Make sense? Yes. All right. So now in that case, if you have have, but you have gone. Okay, this is my auxiliary. auxiliary. And it represents it represents nothing by mm -hmm. itself. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. O sea, solo, solo, it represents nothing in there. But it's not alone. Right? Mm -hmm. It's not alone. In this case, let's do this. So you have a better perspective of this. They have gone to the game. They have gone to the game. There you go. So it is important now to tell me the three elements, uh, subject, verb, and complement. What is the division? Auxiliary. Uh -huh, but the, the three, they, the three divisions. They is the subject. They, they is the subject. They is the subject, exactly. Auxiliary. auxiliary is the have. Auxiliary is the have, yeah. Plus gone is the verb. The verb. The and this one is complement. This is, and then to the game, complement. Okay. And this verb, past participle. Y aquí es donde se introduce, digamos, 
una nueva conjugación del verbo para ustedes, que hasta en este momento del diplomado no lo han visto. ¿Sí? O sea, el verbo past participle es, es, otro, es otra conjugación del verbo que no hemos estudiado hasta este momento. Uh -huh. right? ¿Por qué es especial? Porque ahora viene con un auxiliar. Right? Like in this case, right? Now, if you think about this, guys, it's good, yes. But it's not what I want. I want only three elements. Subject, verb, and complement. No auxiliaries. Subject, verb, and complement. What is the division? They, obviously, this is the subject. Top gun is the verb. This is the verb. And this is the complement. <clears throat> complement. Okay. So visually, I mean visual or visually, whatever, the verb in this part of the process, it's not only one word. Okay. The verb is possible to have two or even three elements in the future. We're gonna we're gonna see something like that. Okay. Are we clear? Yes, pinches yeah. gringos. Pinches gringos. Yeah, I know. Fucking gringos. They have gone. Yes. ¿Qué dice ahí entonces? They have gone to the game. Se han ido al juego. Mm -hmm. Ellos han, right? Mm -hmm. Ellos han ido. There you go. This is the new type of verb that you are going to be using. Okay. Han ido, han estado. All right. Questions so far? No questions? Can you help me, Mr. Alfredo, to read, please? <laughs> Grammar notes number two. How is the present tense of the verb? And it is used to form the present perfect tense, which describe in action that start in the past and continue in the present. For example, I have studied English for two years. There you go. I have studied English for two years. And then you get the have, right? And what's the question that you need to do? Is verb or auxiliary? In, in this case, is in it a verb case, or an auxiliary? In this case, it's, it's an auxiliary. Uh, auxiliary. Uh, auxiliary. It's, an, uh, it's, it's an auxiliary, right? Because we mm -hmm. have a real verb, which is studied, mm -hmm. right? Excellent. All right. Let's analyze this. Can you help me, Mr. Javier, please, to read? Note. Yes, sir. Okay, note. If you eliminate the auxiliary verb, have, the sentence will change to past simple. Oh, simple past, sorry. Something that happened and it finished. I have studied for three hours. Is helping the verb studied to the to be in past in past participle past this no it's participle participle oh yeah part <clears throat> participle yeah past participle participle okay it's oh, from sorry, participle. to explain from to explain the that he has studies for three hours three hours but he hasn't finished studying very good all right this is complicated right now actually i have two examples the first one is i have studied for three hours right i have studied for three hours same situation okay you need to do this like really fast the have is it a verb or is it an auxiliary 
You have oh, to do it in in a in a second. You know. Every time that you see a have or a has, <laughs> instantly you need to get that information. Okay, or you will be very slow when you speak. Right. Mm -hmm. I have studied for three hours. What is saying this is that if you eliminate the have, what happens to this? It goes to simple past. Yo estudié, right? But if you put the auxiliary have in this case, okay, this is this is present perfect. Isa, yo es había yo yo he estudiado yo he estudiado, he estudiado. estudiado por okay. tres horas yo he mm -hmm. estudiado por tres horas right I have studied for three hours okay make sense okay. and then the the have have and has um Change all the tense, no? Change the time of the tense. Exactly. Yeah. From past to from present. simple past mm -hmm. to present, exactly. Present perfect, per right? Per present perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Only one word, yeah. you see? And auxiliary in this case, right? Now, all right, let's go to this info, Mr. Albert. Can you help me, please? Oh, wait a second. Let's, change, has, this. Let's uh, change this to she, maybe. She, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She has $50 in the pocket. Mm -hmm. Use a normal bird. Okay. Dollar in her pocket. Yes. Just a normal bird is simple present, meaning possession. Right? I mean, you analyze it. Is it a verb or an auxiliary? It's a verb. Verb. It's a it's a verb, so it represents possession. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. All right. Let's talk about well, very easy in this case, right? I mean, if you remember, the auxiliaries are gonna go like I have. Uh, you have. We have, he, well, she we has, ha, we she, have, um, he has, has, she has, it has, it has, and they, they have, have, okay? So, and it's the same, I mean, if you, if you want to use present, what's, I have a car, right? Simple like that, correct? But if you want to use present perfect, I have eaten a lot. He comido mucho. Right? All right. So only for you to remember that we are going to apply has for he, she, and it. Kidoki. Okay? Yes. All right. So let's do use the auxiliary have or has plus the past participle of the regular verbs. Complete that sentence in this case. I'm going to give you a, a info in here so you remember, right? Mm, for example, when we talk about regular verbs, right? Um, we are going to have, for example, worked, simple past, and then we're going to have worked, past participle. It's the same, right? And the original word, obviously, is work, right? But I'm talking about regular verbs. So this is very good because we have a lot of regular verbs, right? And the only thing that you need to change between simple past and simple past and past participle 
It's to put what in here? To make it past participle. Have Sorry, or right. has. Have or has, which is the auxiliary, right? Depend on the subject. Mm -hmm. Depending on the subject, exactly. So this is good. Regular verbs. When we talk about irregular verbs, okay, we're going to study those, okay? Because that's a different story. Okie dokie. All right. Like, for example, eat, ate, eaten. Something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Irregular verbs. All right. So, Let's complete the sentences, Mr. Javier. Can you help me with one and two? Okay. I Got have it, man. I have played tennis every Saturday for the past month. There you go. Played, mm -hmm. played in, mm -hmm. in past participle, right? <clears throat> now take one sec, I don't know, five seconds. To analyze the sentence, if you need to translate it, translate it. Okay? So, but understand it 100%. We understand it 100%? I have played tennis every Saturday for the past month. What is it, Javier, in Spanish? Estuve jugando tenis. Eh... No, no, no. No estuve. No, no, Yo he, he estado. He estado jugando tenis todos los... Eh, no, 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 no. He ¿No? estado tampoco. He estado no. Oh. What is the verb, Javier? Played. Ajá. He... Jugado. He jugado. He jugado. Okay. Okay, 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 got it. He, he jugado. jugado tenis todos los sábados por el... Mes pasado. Y, 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 por ejemplo, este es el inicio, ¿no? El inicio de introducir el auxiliar have. En un futuro vamos a tener muchos, como he, he estado, he estado Has comiendo. Has he, ha, Has por had. ejemplo, have had, ¿no? He tenido, right Y de ahí se vienen muchas más conjugaciones. Pero vámonos a enfocarnos a lo básico que es he jugado, he bailado, han comido, right? Mm -hmm. That, that's it right, for right now, right? Number two, Javier, you can do number two. You have visited mm -hmm. your grandparents three times this year. You have visited. Analyze Two. it. You got it? Tú has visitado. Mm -hmm. Ajá, tú has visitado a tus abuelos, a tus abuelos tres veces. Tres veces este año. You got it, man. Uh, Mr. Carlos, three and four. You have it? Three and four. Mm -hmm. He has finished his project and is ready to present it. Finish. There you go. Finish, finish it. Pronunciation with T, Carlos, finished? Finished? And number four, Mr. Carlos? She has students for her exam for the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. Analyze it, guys. Thank you, Carlos. She has studied. Wait a second, I put an extra one. Mm -hmm. Studied. She has studied for the exam for the last two weeks. You got it. What is it, Mr. Albert, in Spanish? She has studied for, for her exam. Ella ha estudiado para ella... su examen. Uh -huh. ella. Yeah, ella ha estudiado. Ella ha estudiado. Mr. Alfredo, number five and six, please. It has rained, rained, not, not stopped for the last three days. 
and we has worked on a new project for the company. Change me the auxiliary for no has. We have. Yes. One we more have, time, can you read? We have it? worked. Excellent pronunciation, yeah. It, On the new project. Right. You got it, thank you. Seven and eight, Rene, please. Okay, I have complemented all my tasks for the day. Mm, complete. Complete, okay. Complete, yeah. I have complete all my tasks for the day. They had mm -hmm. planned pl planet their wedding for six months. Mm -hmm. Lupita no is here? No. <laughs> she will be here on Wednesday, I think. She's she will be traveling tomorrow. All right. Uh, we need to pay attention on the pronunciation of ED, right? <laughs> Claudia, nine and ten, please. Um, she has um, is is irregular. Yes, safe. It's it's regular. It's re regular. Okay, uh -huh. she has safe. Money uh -huh. to the boy, a new car. Yeah. And he practice, practicing, practicing, practicing. Put the normal mm -hmm. practice, the normal. Practice, ah, okay. He has practiced his speech for the presentation he tomorrow. He has practiced. Right, his speech for the presentation. Teacher, yeah. the pronouns for the complet is com complete, is completed, completed. Okay, completed. in past, completed. yeah, mm -hmm. completed, completed, completed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Entonces, a ver, poco español. ¿Qué dice ahí en español? This one. Yo he jugado. Yo, yo he, jugado. he jugado. Yo he jugado. Tú has Vos visitado. visitado. Tú has visitado. Él ha terminado. Él ha terminado. Él ha terminado. Sí. Ella ha estudiado. Ella ha estudiado. estudiado. Ella ha estudiado. Ha llovido. Ha llovido. Ha ¿No? llovido. Tenemos Ay. el el elite, ¿no? Que no se puede, no puede hacer la acción, pues, ¿no? Hemos trabajado. El, Hemos trabajado. Hemos trabajado. Hemos trabajado. Hemos completado. He completado. Yo com he completado. Yo ah, he, he completado. completado. He completado. Ellos han planeado. Ellos han planeado. Ellos han planeado. Ella, Ella ha guardado. Ella ha guardado. Ella ha ahorrado. Ella ha ahorrado. Ella ha ahorrado. Ella ha ahorrado. Y él ha practicado. Él ha practicado. All right. Y yo he leído. <laughs> number 11, right? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that we have more. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, Luis, 11 and 12. Uh, I I have uh -oh. is red. Red? It's equal. It's yes. equals. But it's equal, but the exactly the pronunciation is different. It's read. Mm -hmm. Yep. I, I have read a lot of books uh lately. Yep. And she has she has uh volunteered. Volunteered volunteered. volunteered. Yes. At the animal shelter twice a week. Yep. All right. You got it, Mr. Albert, 13 and 14. It had snowed. Yeah, it has snowed. Heavily in the mountain. Yeah. Uh, we has planned 
or on the expectation for the month for months. We has yes. planned. We have planned. We, we have planned. We, we have planned. planned. Very good. Coming back to Carlos, 15 and 16, mister. They have a FFC regular to stay healthy. They have exercised. Very good. And 16. And 16. Ah, post a Teresa. Can you help me, Javier? 16 and 17. Uh, you have practiced practiced your yeah. public speaking skills. You have practiced. Very good. And he has worked on improving his photo photography uh, skills. Yep. He has worked. Ha trabajado, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mr. Marquez, 18 and 19. 18. She has mm, merit, merited it's every with morning. Termination. It's termination ED, Alfredo. Meditated. Meditated. Ah, sí, cierto. Meditated. Meditated. Every morning to reduce stress. Oh, shit, sorry. Meditate. Every morning, da, da, da. Number 19, we said it. He has jogged jog every day to stay fit. Jogged. Double G, right? Double G. Okay. El ha trotado. El ha trotado, right? Claudia, can you finish the exercise, please? They have watched the movie before. They have watched the movie. All right. Let's go back to Spanish. I'm sorry, but I need you to be clear. Very clear. <laughs> I have read. He leído. Yo he leído. Yo he leído. She has volunteered. Ella es voluntaria. Ella, ella yeah. ha voluntariado. I, uh, ella ha voluntariado. Ella ha. Uh, ¿Ya? Yeah? Sí, eso es correcto. Ella ha voluntariado. Ella era. Lo que pasa es que volunt volunt aquí no existe el verbo, creo, voluntariar. Oh. Right. No. Oh, sí. No, right. Yo voluntareo, tú voluntareas. No, no, no existe. No. Creo que, creo, no creo que decimos. Creo que decimos. Hay una hace, palabra. Hay una palabra. Sí. Es... El voluntariado. Pero cómo dices, ella ha hecho trabajo de voluntad. How do you say ella that? Ha sido ella, es voluntaria. ella es voluntaria. Ah, ok. Sí. Ella ha sido voluntaria. Ha sido. En... Uh -huh. Entonces tenemos el sustantivo voluntario, but not the verb, right? Yeah. Ok. Bueno, she has volunteer. It has node. What is it? Ha nevado. Ha nevado. We have planned. Nosotros. Hemos planeado. Hemos planeado. Got it. They have exercised. Ellos. Han ejercitado. Se han, se han ejercitado. Han ejercitar. Ya yeah, es un verbo. You have mm. practiced. Los practicado. Los practicado. He has worked. Él ha trabajado. Él ha trabajado. He Ella ha meditado. meditado. He has jogged. El ha trotado. And they have watched. El ha mirado. Ellos, ellos, ellos 
a ellos. Han ellos. Visto, visto. Mi, mirado. Ya, yeah, right, mirado. Exist. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, questions right now? I mean, is the introduction to the auxiliary only? All right, take it easy, don't cry. <laughs> in your faces. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, oh my gosh. Okay. Eh, para para Tell voluntariado, me, para voluntariado uh, we need to use has been, maybe. Has been or has done. Like has been volunteered? Yes. Yeah. Or oh, he, he has been volunteering. Maybe exist too. Yes. Ha voluntariando. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Okay. All right, so this is what we're going to do, guys. We have a listening, but before we go through it, we are going to analyze the contractions. Contractions that we can do with the auxiliaries have and has, right? Um, for example, I apostrophe VE is going to be equal to I have. I have in an auxiliary, okay? But for example, I have, I've done, I've done, no, no, no. I've, I've cooked, ¿qué dice ahí? He cocinado. He cocinado. He cocinado. He cocinado, very good. Now, if you say, for example, I have a car, and you want to do this, I've a car, it's impossible. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can do the contraction of the have only if it's present perfect. Present perfect. Okay. Right? Not the verb. Not the verb. In that case, it's going to be incorrect. I've a car, no. Okay? Okay. So, moving on. U apostrophe B, he apostrophe S, she apostrophe S, it apostrophe S, we apostrophe V, B. and then they apostrophe V. Okay, let's practice a little bit the pronunciation, can we? Yeah, pronunciation mm -hmm. of the contractions, right? All right, <clears throat> let's see. I've. I've 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 so you say I've I've gone I've gone I've gone I've gone I've gone you've 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 we've gone we've gone I mean with at the beginning, guys, like in this moment right now, maybe it is going to be very difficult for you to identify the apostrophe of have and has, right? Because it's new for you, right? And maybe mm. when you listen somebody using present perfect tenses, you're like, what? I don't distinguish it and I don't distinguish it, right? But take it easy. At the beginning, for me, it was very difficult to, to identify that, okay? So with the time and with the practice, it's going to be very clear the contraction that people do. Make sense? Uh, and the last one, Dave. This is like Dave. if you say Dave. 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 You know, Dave. Dave. Pretty much the same pronunciation. And then this one's, are easy, he's, she's, and it's, right? It's, she's, it's. Very ugly color, I don't like that one. This one. So he's, she's, and it's, be careful, because this is equal to what? Possession. She's. She is. She, she, exactly. He is, she is. It is. And it is. All right. Be careful of that one. 
Tell me, sir. When when you just when you say I, she, his car, his car is. Oh, okay. I understand this one. His huh? his car. Yeah, it's the same pronunciation actually. No, 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 no. Por ejemplo, el carro de él. Ah, okay. In that case, it's gonna be, um, for example, Albert's uh -huh. car, right? If you do this, his car, esto no se puede, mister. Oh, Vamos a poder okay. usar el apostrofe S when we do the name. Um, okay. Okay, okay. Did you have a question, Renee? No, but when you see the apostrophe and letter S, the complement is the verb. Is the como es la diferencia? Sí, sí, sí. Exactly. Like for example, In the past. Um, his and his, right? Well. Like this, and this one as a as a verb. This is as an auxiliary, right? Like that. Mm -hmm. So if it's a verb, you're gonna say he's he's tall. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Ber ber to be correct. He's tall. And then if you say mm -hmm. he's He's gone. He's gone. He's a. Ha ido. A el ha ido, right? El ha ido. So it's he has gone. All right. So, like Rene said, what would the be the difference? This is adjective, and the other is a verb. Yep. This one is an adjective. And this is a verb, right? To distinguish what, Alfredo? This is good to distinguish what? It's good to, what? what is the question? This one, for example, I mean, this, the adjective and the verb, you know, uh -huh. to identify them, it's good to identify them for what? Ah, for the contractions, for the yeah, S. Exactly. Yeah. In this case, no, for the S. It, exactly, yep. All right, questions, Claudia? Luis? No? Rene, you're good? Javier, very quiet, are you okay? <laughs> no, it's not good, Javier. <laughs> yes. Yes, you have work. Mm -hmm. Sorry, man. Oh, we have a listening. I forgot. Catching have and has. So listen to the sentences being read. Write down on the corresponding lines what auxiliary was used. Have, haven't, has, or hasn't. Right? Your microphone. Oh, my God. It will be the, your, the, your new job, Rene. Okay. You are tired of your job, Javier? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I. I think what's up, Javier? <laughs> no, Javier, that that that's your distinguisher. Yeah. Yep. Right. New new year. New year, new <laughs> new person. New walker, yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So ready. Yes. So what yep. you need to do is, for example, have <laughs> finished. 
uh, has gone, okay? I don't know. Only that from the sentence, okie dokie. Only the verb in this case. Using uh, contractors too? Yeah, possi possible contractions and possible negatives too, okay? Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Javier, you can do it. This is pressure for your brain, you know? Okay. Don't cry. Let me see. Can you hear? No. No? No. All right. There it is, right? Here we go. True English Academy Listening Program. Step number 23. Catching have and has. Exercise 2. Instructions. Listen to the sentences being read. Write down on the corresponding lines what auxiliary was used. Have, haven't, has, or hasn't. Number 1. I have finished my homework. Number two, she's visited Paris twice. Be careful, she's visited. She's visited. What is that? You got it. She has visited. Yeah, but contraction, right? Two, she's visited Paris twice. Number three. We've traveled to many different countries. You got it? Mm -hmm. Careful, be careful. We've traveled to many different countries. It's a it's a very, very slightly difference between we and we've. we've. We and we've, right? Listen. Travel to many different countries. Number three. We've traveled to many different countries. Number four, they've completed the project on time. You got it. Mm -hmm. Number five, she has worked hard today. It's completed in this case, right? Number five, she has worked hard today. And then there's a very complication uh, pronunciation slang in there that it's she's, she has, right? Very difficult sometimes. She has. <clears throat> sometimes it's easy to do the contraction. In Maybe. That case, in yeah, that it case, is. It's complete in number five. Number yes. five is completed, right? Mm -hmm. No, no. Yeah. No, it's work. Work. She's, she's worked. worked. She's oh. worked. But she has? She has worked, yes. She has worked, okay. She has worked hard today. Yes. There you go. Sí. Yeah. Number six. They have cooked potatoes for dinner. They have. Okay. They have Complete cooked. Too. Completed, yes. Number seven. I've painted the room three times this year. Got it. Uh huh. Very, very, very slightly different. Then, I've painted the room three times this year. I've, I've, I've right? I've, I've painted. Yes, painted. And then that will be the difference between I, um, yo pinté y yo he pintado. 
I painted and I painted. Mm -hmm. All right. Number eight. She hasn't called her doctor. There's a negative. Mm -hmm. You got it. Number eight. She hasn't called her doctor. Number nine. Tawny has counted the spaces. Count it. Complete it or contract it. Complete it. Tony has. Yeah, complete it. And LT. Number time equals 1S and GT. <laughs> what the I haven't graduated. What? 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 I don't know what happened. <laughs> Let me check this sheet. Tawny has counted the spaces. Okay. All right. And LT. Number time. NLT. 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 Equals 1S and GT. I haven't graduated from college yet. Okay. I haven't graduated from college. I think the number was wrong in there. I haven't graduated from college yet. It's, it's for number, 1S and number 10? Number 10, I think. Mm -hmm. GT. I haven't graduated from college yet. Yeah. Negative. Okay. Completed negative, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number 11. My friends have celebrated a lot lately. Ay, ay, ay. Here it is. My friends have celebrated a lot lately. You got it. Yes. What is it? My friends. My friends. Have... Completed. My friends. Yes. No. Yes. My completed. Friends. Completed. Let me check. My friends have celebrated a lot lately. Mm -hmm. Have celebrated, mm -hmm. yeah. Because if not, it's impossible to say to say my, my friends. friends with... Yes, right. So that's yeah, another the, point. The, the contraction, the contraction is only for for um, I, you, she, they only. Not not for Carlos. Carlos. Uh, have... mm. No, Carlos has because, because Carlos is possession. No, but but the contraction it's we can we can't apply at um Tony or um the nom yeah. the, the, the name names or or yes Alfredo you can do it only only for he and she mm-hmm now, for for example, it will be impossible to say Claudia and Luis, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah. But it's impossible, it's possible to say Claudia's gone, Claudia has gone, Claudia's gone to the movies. That one is correct. Okay. okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Um, what is the next one? 12? 12. 12. Here, here we go. Number 12. I haven't accepted the conditions. Okay. You I got have... it? I think it's... Repeat, 12. please. I haven't accepted the conditions. Accept. Here we go, Javier, one more time. Negative, no? Yes. Number 12. I haven't accepted the conditions. Mm -hmm. I haven't accepted, right? Number 13. She has caused a big problem. She's has... Here we go. Number 13. She has caused a big problem. Caused. What is the verb? Caused. Caused. Ca caused. Uh -huh. Caused. Como ca causó. Causó. Uh -huh. Caused. Mm -hmm. Caused. Here we go. Number 14. She has not helped me with the homework. Okay, negative, but here we go again. Complete. She yes, has sir. not. Number 14. She has not helped me with the homework. Help me. She has not. Number 15. Dad haven't cleaned the house yet. You got it? No. 
No. One more time. What? One more time. Number 15. Dad haven't cleaned the house yet. <laughs> oh, there's a mistake in there. They, they yes, because he's, that haven't. He hasn't. That hasn't haven't cleaned, cleaned the house yet. It's incorrect, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, it hasn't yet. It has to be that hasn't. That hasn't. Right? That's ha uh -huh. That hasn't. Mm -hmm. Correct. Two mistakes in this audio. Mm -hmm. Number 16. They have listened to that song for hours. Okay. That's easy, right? Number 16. They have listened to that song for hours. You got it. Number 17. They have not completed the task. Number 17. They have not completed the task. Got it? The task. The task. The task. The task. Task. Task is an activity that you need to do. For example, one of your tasks, oh, okay, Javier, okay, okay. is to, I don't know, send reports. Okay, okay. I got it. Got it. Here we go. That's why we say multitask. Mm -hmm. Number 18. They have filled the car with new stuff. Okay. Number 18. They have filled the car with new stuff. What is the verb that you got? Filled. Filled. Field. Very good. Number 19. My dad has not changed the door lock. Has not. And the verb? Changed. 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 Number 20. Has liked the cake. Oh, this is a very good yes. one. <laughs> what? Here we go again. It's difficult. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a ha. He's it, he liked. Yeah. Liked. He it's has. A, she it. has liked. Yeah. Here we go. My dad has not changed the door lock. The next one. Number twenty. He's liked the cake. He's liked. <laughs> the cake. He's, he's liked. Yeah, you got it. He's liked the cake. Yeah. He's liked the cake. Like he has liked the cake. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Le ha gustado el pastel, right? Le gustó el cake. Yeah. He's liked the cake. He's, he's a contractor. Yeah. Apostrophe he's S, right? Liked. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's like. Yeah. Number 21. You've enjoyed the movie, right? You've. Mm hmm Number 21. You've enjoyed the movie, right? Enjoyed. You can, you can see the difference? You've? Yes. Nice. Number 22. The mailman have not delivered the package. The mailman? The mailman? The mailman? Huh? Number 22. The mailman have not delivered the package. The mailman is the mailman is has no mailman. Exactly, that's another mistake. Mm -hmm. The mailman, the has, mailman has, has not has not because it's it's negative. Mm -hmm. I have very good students. Has not what? Sorry. Where is the verb? Delivered. Check. Delivered. Number twenty two. The mailman have not delivered the package. Okay. Number 23. The teacher haven't checked the homework yet. Another mistake. Another mistake. What happened with me? What the fuck happened with me? The teacher has... What number is that one? 23. 22 and 23. Haven't Both. checked. I have mistakes, I'm sorry. One more the verb, please. Which one? The last one? Yeah, yes, please. 23. Okay. Because Javier is... 
Sorry, Dude. Gosh. Number 23. The teacher haven't checked the homework yet. Hasn't. Number 24. We have not celebrated Thanksgiving in the past years. That one you got it, right? Number 24. We have not celebrated Thanksgiving in the past years. Now what? From here in hours. The audio is it's weird. Number 25. 25? Yeah. Okay. We haven't moved from here in hours. One more time. Number 25. We haven't moved from here in hours. You got it. We have, what is the verb? We haven't moved. Moved. We, have, we haven't moved. moved. We haven't moved. Number 26. The new products have not arrived to the store. You got it. Here we go. Number 26. The new products have not arrived to the store. Have not arrived. And yes. GT. Have not arrived. Number 27. My dog has barked a lot all day. Okay. Here we go. Number 27. My dog has barked a lot all day. What is the verb of the action of the verbs? Bark. 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 There you go. Number 28. You have not selected the color of your dress. Have. You got it. Here we go. Number 28. You have not selected the color of your dress. Have you? Have you? Have you? That's it, right? We're finished. Me voy a poner en silencio, René. Okay. Ya no dije nada. René is very dis disappointed today. <laughs> Why? No, I'm just saying. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> let's let's see because I have mistakes. Okay, I don't remember which ones though. We'll check them. Twenty three, twenty four, twenty four two. I have not celebrated. No, no, no. Twenty two, twenty three. Okay. Mailman and T shirt has not. Okay. Uh, there was another one. Oh, the audio was incorrect, right? But okay. Got it. Fifteen two it's uh it's with has uh, okay. What was the subject? You remember no? That that Dad, that's right, yeah. I remember yeah. that has it has not clean. He yeah. has not clean. And the twenty two is has not I think. Yeah, I have the nothing here. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Good exercise, Luis. You got it, yes. Javier, you do? good exercise, good exercise. <laughs> what, Rene? Sorry. <laughs> good exercise, Javier. Yes. <laughs> Very good. How did you feel, Albert? Yes, good. Yeah, I have gone to the bathroom. You have gone to the bathroom. <laughs> what for? <laughs> I have gone to the bathroom. Claudia, how did you feel? Good? Yes, I'm good. Yeah. You got the auxiliary position good, you know? Mm, yes, and in, in, in eh, algunas eh, that have, eh, I, I understand. Uh, complete, but era ah, protection. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, yeah, good. Alfredo, finished. Yeah, I'm finished. Good. All right, Mr. Carlos, how was it? Uh, finished. Three mistakes. Three mistakes. Yes. Nice, Carlos. Very good. I like it. I like oh, it. I va. <laughs> All right. So very fast. We only have nine minutes. So let's do it. Mr. Luis, can you help me with the instructions? Yes. Think in English. Verb or auxiliary. Exercise three. Look at the sentence shown by your professor, then write on the corresponding lines if the word have and has are used as verbs or auxiliaries. Okay, so I'm gonna give you examples and you tell me in here, you're gonna tell me verb, auxiliary, auxiliary, I don't know. Get okay. All right, number one, I have finished my homework. Auxiliary. Auxiliary. Number two, Mr. Albert. Auxiliary. Auxiliary. She has, she has, has lived, lived in New York for three years. In New York for three years. Auxiliary. Claudia. Verb. Verb. She has a beautiful voice, possession. That is Javier. Verb. Uh, Verb. We have you two bet. children. Thank you, man. Mr. Luis. Uh, auxiliary. Auxiliary, yeah. Because we have a verb. A verb. Miss, Ren Miss Renee. Um, it's a verb. It's a verb. No, other, no, another verb, right, Alfredo? Uh, it's a, a auxiliary. This is an auxiliary. Worked she has worked work. at the company science. Mr. Carlos? Bear. It's a bear. It's a bear. Yeah. It's for you, this... This, this is for you, Carlos. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the worker man, Mr. Albert. Auxiliary. Uh, she has a learn to play the guitar just a few weeks. Exactly. This is auxiliary. Learned. She has learned. Hey, Claudia. Has... It's a verb. It's a verb possession. She has a passion. Javier? I have read that book twice. It's an auxiliary. It's an auxiliary. Rene? She has traveled 
to over 20 countries is a auxiliary. It's an auxiliary. Alfredo, ready? He has a lot of friends. It's a verb. It's a verb. Mr. Carlos, <laughs> very simple. Hmm. I have a cat. It's a verb. It's a verb. Finish, Mr. Albert. Uh, it's a verb. We have a lot of work to do. Yeah. Possession, we have a lot of work to do. And that's it. Tomorrow, hmm. guys, we are going to practice irregular verbs in past participle form. Kidoki. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, quiero que hagan una tarea. Ya yeah, me van a odiar. No. Mm -hmm. I, don't have a, I don't have a time. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, it's true. No, it's true. <laughs> bueno. true. Yeah. Jolie, Jolie, can you do this homework, please? <laughs> 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 Jolie, I need you. I need you. <laughs> um. Ya la hice, maestro. <laughs> I do. Oh, I received a message from Yoli. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Just kidding, Yoli. All right. Um, mañana quería, quería, no sé si mañana o pasado, pero ¿se acuerdan de los 44 sonidos que vimos tiempo atrás? Yes. yes. Ok. Y les dije en aquella ocasión que esa, en esa ocasión, esa clase era una introducción, ¿recuerdan? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Llegó el momento de aplicarlo de forma correcta. Vamos a usar otra vez los 44 sonidos. Pero para no perder tiempo en clase, eh, bueno, igual yo si tengo tiempo mañana lo debí de haberlo hecho estas vacaciones, no lo hice, ¿no? El caso es de que necesitamos verbos que terminen con las letras que están dentro de aquí. Estas letras ustedes las tienen en su libro o no? Sí. Yes, sir. Son las primeras páginas, ¿no? La, de, de, sí, las primeras páginas del libro. De este tema. Uh -huh. Pero sí vienen estas letras. A ver. Yes. No. Yes. ¿No? Ah, no, las letras no, como que es. No, eh... no vienen. No, Nada solamente. Más... Mm. Okay. Nada más viene. está el 1 y el 2. Solamente las figuras están. Bueno, ni el, en el 2, el 1 nada más. ¿Qué nomás? Ya, pues ya. Ya me chingué, lo voy a hacer yo. Están en <risa> All right. Never mind. See you tomorrow. Ok, see you tomorrow. Oh, see, you guys. Guys. Good night. Yeah. see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Good night. Yeah, I know. <laughs> bye, bye. Bye, Albert. Welcome back. Bye, teacher. And see, bye, Mr. Carlos. See Hay ya, mucha nieve ya. por tu son, para si quieren venir a la nieve. Hay mucho. Nevo toda la noche ahora. Y está haciendo está frío, la... Carlos. Está bien helado ahorita. Sí, aquí está tan horrible el, el frío ya. Cuídate ah, mucho. Igualmente, no, mañana. Bye, Mr. Carlos. You're welcome. Bye.